what's up beautiful people this is mike from my gadgets world and in today's video we are doing the calibration using the apple tv 4k and this iphone right here and we're going to be doing it on the lg oled c10 yes the king of 2020 model and we're going to be looking into that make sure to hit the like on this video so that this video can go to more people and also subscribe to the channel because it's going to help me out a lot so we're going to hit 20,000 soon guys so make sure to be part of this journey and also I have the LG OLED G1 videos lined up, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you on the other side. All right guys, so there are two things really important when you're doing the calibration using the Apple TV 4K. You have to have Apple TV 4K. It doesn't really necessarily have to be the Apple TV, the brand new one that Apple launched. If you already have an Apple TV 4K device, the Gen 1, that will work. But it has to be with the TV OS 14.6. As you can see right there, I'm running the Apple TV OS 14.6 because I'm running the beta on my Apple TV so I get the beta updates. So if you are a developer or you're signed up for the beta updates, you will be able to get the 14.6. The 14.5 is the minimum requirement which is going to be available to public in the next month but right now it is available to beta testers and the developers. So if you want to go and sign up for beta, it's so easy. You can go to the update section and uh, let me see where it was. It was in the systems and you go here, software updates and I have the get beta updates on. So you have to do some steps to make sure that you are subscribed to the beta testing program. As soon as you get into the beta updates, you will have this new firmware and this firmware is the 14.6. And when you have that, you will scroll down let me go back all the way so you know where it is. So we're gonna go to the settings and in the settings you will go to the video and audio and go all the way down and we have the color balance update available. So when we have the color balance, we're gonna click on that and do the calibration. But there is one thing that you have to understand. Apple is not doing the ISF calibration, you know that Calman calibration on all the picture modes that you have on your TV. It's gonna do it on only one picture mode. Let's say I'll show you one thing, what happens when I, you have this option available, right? Color balance. But when you switch to a different mode, let's say we go to the 4K Dolby Vision. And make sure guys to watch the complete video because there's, there's plenty of important information in this video, which is gonna help you to do the calibrate properly. So. When you go to the Dolby Vision and go back to that calibration, it says not required because it says that your television is using Dolby Vision and it, it is color accurate and it does not need to be calibrated right now. So you cannot do the calibration when you are in the Dolby Vision mode. So you have to get out of it and you can only do it in HDR and SDR mode. So now it's up to you. If you watch a lot of SDR content, you will have to do the calibration on the 4K SDR or you can do it on 4K HDR if you do a lot of uh, 4K HDR viewing. But I'm kind of confused here that what content I'm gonna watch in 4K HDR apart from the main menu screen which is in 4K HDR because as soon as I'm gonna go and start watching anything on the Disney Plus, I'm gonna watch anything on the Netflix, it is available in the Dolby Vision and where you don't need any calibration. So what exactly I can do the calibration and what can exactly I use it for? And it's not like you're gonna do the calibration, it's gonna push all the settings to your TV. It is just gonna be for the Apple TV specific HDMI that is plugged in. And this is just happening within the Apple TV. It's not pushing anything to your TV. It's not changing any meta or any uh, information or color balance in your TV. It is just doing all the adjustments in the Apple TV 4K itself. So the thing is, I won't be watching most of the stuff in 4K HDR. So what I'll do, I'll switch to 4K SDR because this is where you know all the SDR shows gonna be because everything else HDR is gonna be in the Dolby Vision. So I'm gonna get out of it, go to 4K SDR. And then I'm gonna go to the video and audio and at the bottom, now we have the option available to color balance. And now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on it and I'm gonna make sure that what picture mode I'm in. So I'm gonna go here on my TV 
and I'm in the ISF expert bright room. But in the bright room, dark room, it's already in the warm color temperature. So I wanna show you guys how it actually works. So I'm gonna go to the standard mode because you can see standard mode is bluish. So we can see the difference, how much of the calibration is being done using the Apple TV calibration. So we're gonna do the standard and see how much difference and how how much change it's gonna make. So we're gonna keep it a standard right here. And then it asks for bring the phone closer, you know, so that you can do it. So I'm gonna bring my iPhone closer to the TV and follow the instructions that I'm gonna show you on, on, on the camera here. All right guys, as you can see on my phone, it is showing that now it's ready to do the color balance. So I'm gonna have to click uh, continue. All right, continue. And now on the screen, it is asking me to take my phone up there and have it against the TV. So I'm gonna take my phone there, have it against the TV and see how the process works and how much time is gonna take to do the calibration. So let's do that. All right, this was done within the 10 seconds, so it was pretty quick. So now it says on my phone that the calibration is complete. You have to keep at least one inch distance from the screen to do the calibration. It's gonna use the face ID and that sensor will sense what color uh, space are you in, how much of the color balance is off, so it's gonna adjust that RGB for you. So right now the calibration is complete. So let's figure out what, what it has done. So we're gonna click on view results. And this is the balanced, which is the calibration, which was just performed on the standard mode. And if we go back to the original, it is that bluish, you know, that blue uh, tint that you see on the cool side of the colors, you know, cool, uh, medium, and then you have warm. So when you go to the use balanced, it is almost like, let me lower my ISO so you can see exactly on the screen. Okay, I'm sure now you guys can see. Okay, so if I go to the original, this is how it was. See on the left side, you can see visibly that sand color has a lot of blue color in it. And if I go to the balance, it is warm. It is the picture which is calibrated. So it is magical guys, the way it does it but it is not doing it on your TV. Let's say now you switch to the TV applications and you use the uh, SDR standard. It is gonna be different picture for you because now you're not in um, the Apple TV's controlled um, app, what do you call, HDMI input. You're switching to another input. So you're not gonna have these settings applied there. This, these settings only work on the Apple TV and which, which makes sense. Why would it work outside the Apple, right? All right guys, so that's all I have from this video. Make sure to hit the like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And also I'll be digging in deeper and I'm gonna be doing that um, testing on the Kalman software to see like how accurate this uh, calibration is, which is done using the Apple TV 4K. So stay tuned for more updates and I'll see you guys in another one. Until then, peace out, stay safe and have a great weekend.